The SQL create table command does exactly as its name suggests. It allows you to specify the columns of a new table structure in a database. This is the essential syntax of the create table command. The keywords create table are followed by the name that will be given to the new table, then in parentheses a comma separated list of column names and corresponding data types. Here's an example of the create table command. When executed, it will create a new table called customers with three columns. The first name and last name columns will have fixed length character data types, in other words, text. And the both date column will have a data type of date. You'll often see the create table command written across several lines like this. SQL is not layout sensitive. This makes it easier to see individual column specifications. In this example, default values are supplied for the city and the country columns. This is achieved by means of the default keyword. When new records are added to the table, these fields will be populated automatically with the values specified here. Of course, they can be overwritten afterwards. You can also create a new table by copying some or all of an existing table. This is achieved by combining create table with a regular select statement. Start with create table, then the table name, followed by the keyword as. Then list the columns you want in the new table after the select keyword. These columns along with their data types and any other properties will become part of the new table. The new table will also include all of the data from the original table, unless you use a WHERE clause to populate the table with data selectively. To create a table with a primary key column, you'll first need to define a column that cannot be left empty. This can be done with the NOT NULL clause. This table will include an integer column called customer ID and every customer record must have a value in this field. The primary key clause then specifies that this will be the primary key column, ensuring the uniqueness of each record. The SQL create table statement can be used to establish a relationship between two tables. Suppose that ultimately you want to set up two related tables like these. Customer ID is the primary key in the customers table and order ID is the primary key in the orders table. The customer column in the orders table is the foreign key. It indicates which customer placed each order. There's a one-to-many relationship between these two tables. One customer can place many orders. These are the SQL statements you would need to set up the table structures. Create table for the orders table includes a foreign key clause, which creates a foreign key constraint between the two tables. Notice how it references the customer ID column in the customers table.